Hey guys, Paul here. Today we're going to unbox yet another portable Bluetooth speaker, the Sony SRS BTX300. This speaker used to sell for $200 and recently Sony dropped the price to $130 in the United States, which made the speaker a lot more affordable. Let's open up the box and see what we have in here. So the first thing on top is a carrying case, which is a really nice addition by Sony, so you don't have to purchase this separately like you do with most other brands. The next thing is the power adapter. And then also we have the speaker wrapped up in this foam protector and holding it in my hand I can say it has a good amount of weight to it. The last thing in the box is the manuals and the warranty card and as you can see there's nothing else left in there. So first let's take a look at the power adapter and as you can see this one came with the US type power plug but the power supply is actually rated from 100 to 240 volts, 50 and 60 hertz so you can travel pretty much anywhere in the world as long as you have electricity then you're set. The other side is just a regular round of plug. Unfortunately, Sony did not use a USB power supply to make things a little more universal. The carrying bag is made out of a soft neoprene type material and it uses Velcro to hold it closed and you can either use it for a glove, play puppets with it, or you can just store your speaker in there. All right, so here's the speaker and once we remove this protective wrapper from it, you can see that the speaker is really of high quality and not some cheap plastic gadget, but a really nicely made precision equipment. Now, it definitely weighs a ton, so I don't know how portable this thing really is. Unless you're in a mood for a good workout, then it might be the exact thing you're looking for. On the top left corner, we have the Sony logo printed on it, and the rest of the grill is pretty much left blank. On the top, we have a few things. First, we have the lock button for the stand release, then we have the volume up and down buttons, also the speakerphone function button, in the middle we have the near field communication sensor, and on the other side there's the battery slash charge indicator LED light. To release the stand you have to move the slider towards the side of the speaker, and this will open the side panel, allowing the speaker to stand upright without falling over. To close it back up, just have to push it back in place until it clicks in. Once the panel is in the open position, it reveals the power on and off, the Bluetooth link button, the auxiliary input button, and the sound field select button. The left side of the speaker is not movable and is left blank. It is finished off with the same stainless steel end panel like the other side to give you a nice balanced look. On the back panel we have a groove which is there so that the speaker can be lifted up and carried without having to worry about sliding out of your hand. The rest of the back is made out of plastic and we also have some of our inputs and outputs back here. First is the power input rated at 12.5 volts. Next is the auxiliary input. After that there is a switch to enable and disable the Bluetooth connection then a reset button, and last we have a USB output port for charging your phone or any other device while you're listening to it. Once the power adapter is plugged into the unit, the battery charge indicator LED will glow amber to indicate the battery is currently being charged. Once the LED goes off, the battery is fully charged and you're ready to go. To connect the Bluetooth enabled device, first we have to power the unit on by pressing the power button. Next we have to press and hold the Bluetooth button until the LED starts flashing faster. At this point the speaker should show up on your device's Bluetooth connection page as SRS BTX300. Once you select it and the connection is established, the LED light on the front of the unit will turn blue. If you have an NFC enabled device, the connection can be made much easier. You just have to hold your device over the sensor and you're done. The sound processor can be cycled through by pressing on the sound button. The first press will turn the LED amber and put the speaker into mega bass mode. The second press will turn the LED green and this indicates that the speaker is now in mega bass slash surround mode. And the next press will turn the LED and the sound field off. The included neoprene case fits the speaker perfectly and gives you some protection against damage and is a good way of storing or carrying your speaker around. The BTX300's main sound source comes from the two front facing 10W 70mm full range drivers rated at 6 ohms and 103 by 60 mm passive radiator. The whole setup is very similar to the leading speakers on the market today. Now we're going to compare the sound quality of the Sony to the Bose Soundlink Mini by playing different types of music on them. Let's see how they match up to each other.
As you heard by this comparison, the Sony handled itself well. It actually sounds very similar to the Bose. Unfortunately, both of them lack those high frequencies, but they handle the deeper notes spectacularly. Compared to the Sony's big size, I was expecting a little more power from it. Surprisingly, the Bose sounded just as loud, if not louder. The Sony is definitely a top contender in the arena of portable Bluetooth speakers. It is well designed and displays lots of quality features. The Sony has a non-user replaceable lithium-ion battery built into it that can give you up to 8 hours playback once fully charged. Unfortunately, once the battery dies and can no longer be charged, you will have yourself a really fancy looking paperweight. To be honest, for me, even though the speaker looks really nice, it is a little bit on the heavy side, defeating the purpose of being a portable speaker. But for the price that the speaker is currently being sold for, it's a no-brainer. You should definitely pick one up if you can. Lots of other speakers that don't sound or look nearly as good sell for more. So, if you want a speaker that is semi-portable, sounds decent and doesn't cost you an arm and a leg, then this is the way to go. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.